no more. He's got a lot of people to him. Right. Yes. right, bro. His spirit's in us. Yes. Thank you. Amen. Bless you. All right. First Kings 18, and we'll start at verse 15. And it reads like this. And the Bible says, And Elijah said, As the Lord of hosts liveth, before whom I stand, I will surely show myself to him today. So Obadiah went up, went to meet Ahab, and told him, and Ahab went to meet Elijah. And it came to pass when Ahab saw Elijah, that Ahab said unto him, Art thou he that troubled Israel? And he answered, I have not troubled Israel, but thou in thy father's house, in that ye have forsaken the commandments of the Lord, and that thou hast followed Balaam. Mm -hmm. Now therefore send and gather to me all Israel, to Mount Carmel, and the prophets of Baal, 450, and the prophets of the grove, 400, so that's 950, which eat at Jezebel's table. Give the Lord a great big hand, you can be seated. But I want us to back up and let's look at verse, let's look at verse 18. Verse 17. And the Bible says in verse 17, And it came to pass when Ahab saw Elijah, that Ahab said unto him, Here's what I want to preach to you for a little while. Or though he that troubled Israel. You know Elijah's name, what, what his name was, was Trouble. That's what they called him, Trouble. And I just want to, take for a thought tonight just for a little while um, a troublemaker he was a troublemaker brother Phil they didn't have any more trouble why because that he was bold enough just to speak what God would tell him to speak you know the devil don't want us to be bold you know boldness will make us strong in God boldness will cause us to be Talk about like that. Yeah. It will cause us to be called judgmental. It will cause us to be called a troublemaker. But I want the devil to know tonight uh, that I'm a troublemaker, ain't you? I'm not a troublemaker of bad things, uh, uh, but I want to be a troublemaker for my Lord and my Savior, don't you? Uh, and I believe tonight that we can read how that Elijah, he would... Uh, he would go through out and he would preach the word of God. We could read them through the word of God where many and many prophets and apostles are. Uh, they stirred up trouble no matter where they went. You know, uh, uh, the devil don't want you and I to be no troublemaker. Brother Philip, uh, he wants us just to go with the flow. But I thank my God uh, uh, that I've been chosen, I've been called out, I've been ordained uh, uh, to be a troublemaker, ain't you? Uh, I'm not a child of the devil. I've got news for him. Uh, uh, because I've been purchased by the blood uh, of the Almighty Savior. Uh, when God called us out of darkness into his marvelous light, uh, uh, he didn't call me uh, and fill me up with the Holy Ghost uh, and he parked me on a seat so worse than now. Uh, uh, now you've got everything that you need. Uh, uh, just be a little bit quiet, but I've got news for the dead. Uh, and God's got a people uh, uh, that needs to be uh, a troublemaker in the time that we're living in. Uh, and I begin to meditate and I call God uh, uh, every time that we turn on the news today uh, it's bad news and uh, uh, we can see all across this country what the devil is uh, doing, what he's uh, doing to people uh, he's uh, causing many to be overdose or drug uh, he's uh, causing many to be commit a uh, uh, suicide uh, he's uh, causing many uh, uh, to steal, he's causing many to kill, uh, uh, but what does the Bible say about the devil uh, uh, the Bible says that he come to kill or uh, to steal and to destroy uh, but we are in the church of uh, uh, the mighty God the living God uh, and God has given us power uh, uh, to trade upon serpent and 
scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. We are to be a cause and a drill of some trouble somewhere along the way. And I've always heard many times that it was not bothering you. Maybe you need to pray a little bit. Maybe you need to read your word a little bit. Maybe you need to get out to the house of God and give a song or a testimony. Let it know that you're going to be a trouble for him. We are to be a handful to the devil. But the devil is right in the house of God. And he's got God's people sitting back. A sound to bring open their mouth. Because we're afraid that we might have somebody feel. Uh, we gotta be, uh, uh, we gotta be a little bit of uh, trouble. We gotta, uh, we ought to be a troublemaker. Uh, uh, when they hear that, uh, uh, that we're coming to town, uh, uh, the devil ought to run and hide. Uh, uh, but he's not afraid of us. Uh, he's not afraid because he knows uh, that we ain't gonna speak what God gives us. Uh, because we're afraid to hurt somebody's feelings. Uh, but listen to me. Uh, if the word of God hurts my feelings, uh, uh, then so be it. Uh, to mark up to the word of God. A church today we are listening to what the devil is a saying. We are afraid to stir him out. But I've got news for you. He don't care to tear you down. He don't care to keep you down. I fight on your back. But brother Phil, I want to be a troublemaker in the time that we're living in. That's it. Now Elijah was a troublemaker. The Bible says that, that he come down and he gathered up all the prophets of Jezebel. And the word says that they begin to begin to say the God that answered my fire we're going to let him be God. And the word said to the old Elijah and begin to tell him I'm going to give you the first opportunity. I want you to kill us a bull ox. And we're going to cut him up in pieces and we're going to place him upon, upon the altar. And the God that answered my fire that's the God that we're going to bow down to and worship. But Elijah must have knew, that Brother Philip, that there was something going on, that there wasn't a servant of God that he served. But they didn't know the God that, that he knew. He may have heard him cussing a little bit. He may have seen him lost in a little bit or something. But he knew the God that lived on the inside of him was not that kind of God. He said, all right, we're going to let you call on your God first. Are we going to dig a ditch? Are we going to fill it up with water? With 12 barrels of water? Are we going to place the bull ox in the, upon the altar? Are we going to put the stones around? Are we going to put the wood in place? And the Bible said that they begin to call upon their God. They begin to call for morning. But no answer. But oh, Elijah will just kick back. Just a laugh of the way. I tell you the devil, he wants you and I. I'm not to pray by God, but I want to know that my God, that hung on the cross at Calvary, that God, that God down that cross, is still yet able to save the day as it was 2,000 years ago. But all oh, I just said, he began to laugh at him, and began to make fun of him. He said, all right. He said, maybe he's asleep. Or maybe he's going on a journey. Or maybe he uh, needs to be awakened up. Come on. And then like uh, the devil today, uh, when you put him to the test, uh, he ain't able to do what we want him to do. Uh, but I'll tell you one thing. Uh, the God that I serve, uh, if he don't answer my prayer today, uh, I know that he's still yet able to answer it, don't yes, you? Uh, if he's still yet able to save uh, the drug of the alcoholic, he's able to save the heart. But we gotta believe in our God, and know that He's gonna come through when we call upon Him. But oh, what I just said, maybe He's gone. But now here it was toward even time, and no answer from their God. No answer. And I just said, all right. 
And they jumped upon the altar and they began to cut themselves until the blood runs out. And they tore that place upside down. And that old troublemaker was a sin back. I just so happy. He knew that God was going to answer for him. I know that my God is going to answer for me, don't you? If I just wait upon him. Don't the Bible say wait upon the Lord. And we shall renew our strength. I tell you sometimes God, he wants you and I'll just let him be God. But just wait upon him. He's going to move at his time. He wants you and I to be faithful to him. To believe in his word. And let him be God all the time. My God is a consuming power. I tell you God is real. And the Bible says that they place the wood back in order. See God moves in order. He won't move when everything is out of whack. The thing has got to be in order. Brother, we got to be in order. We got to pray to our God. We got to read our word. We got to go to church and be faithful to the house of God. Yes. When we do that, God will move forth when we call upon Him. And the Bible says that all oh, out of them begin to place the wood. And they begin to place the sacrifice in order. And I don't mean Elijah. The Holy got the word down his mouth until God come down. Yes. And we everything around. It burned up the water. It done everything that God told him that he would do. You know why? Because somebody said, all right, and now your God failed you. Now what did he do? He took them all down to the brook and he slayed every one of them. What a troublemaker. We are to be bad news for the devil. Yes. But the devil's not worried about us because we will not praise our God. We will not put our God to the test. And God is able to do it. If only a brother would that we ask for thanks. Yes, he is. A troublemaker. We are to be bad news to the devil. We are to be a people that will praise God and let the world see that we have joy in serving God. Uh, but they look at us uh, and they say you're judgmental uh, I'm not judgmental uh, if the word says uh, I've got a right to speak it don't you uh, the word judges every one of us in this building tonight uh, but one thing about it uh, we got to stand up for what the word says uh, we got to be obedient to the spirit of God uh, we want God to move and bless us uh, but we will not praise him uh, we will not move and obey God uh, just tonight uh, what is the devil considering you or me? Is you considering you or me? Somebody that's easy to push over. Or we hear you looking at you and I as a troublemaker. I've got news for you, don't you? I know the God that I serve. He's able to heal. He's able to save. And he's able to deliver. If I never see God do a miracle, I'm going to preach that my God is a miracle working God. If I never yes. see him heal, I'm going to say, my God is a healer. How do you know? I've read it in the Word of God. My God is real. And he's a consuming fire. We are to be bad news to the devil. Amen. Oh, man. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. Some of the old prophets and apostles. You better not die to speak against her God. Amen. Uh, they just were swore down and cut your head off in a split second. Uh, uh, Peter was classified as a troublemaker. Uh, he was classified as, uh, as, as an overbearing man. Uh, but what was Peter? Uh, he was a trouble to the people. Uh, he was a bad news to the people. Uh, he was a troublemaker uh, against the powers of hell, uh, against sin. Uh, they don't want you and I uh, to speak against sin. Uh, we shouldn't open their mouth uh, about the homosexuality. I've got news for the devil. I'm bad news for him and you. I'm not. The Bible says, let God forbid. A soul of tomorrow was destroyed for this stuff. And God is not going to overlook. Oh, what's going on? At one time, America was the best nation. But what is it done? It's sent back. And the devil's calls us to be a pushover. We need to stand up against sin. Yes. Uh, be a Hallelujah. Let the world 
we'll see. And God is real. And He's able to take us through the trials and the storms. Amen. Amen. Elijah was a troublemaker. He was a troublemaker. He wasn't worried about what they thought about him. He wasn't worried about what he was going to do to him. All that was on his mind. I had to obey God. I thought the Bible said obedience is better than sacrifice. We better be obedient to God. We better be troubled to the devil. We better not play a patty cake with the devil. He's a way to get you somewhere. He's a way to get you along. And then he's going to come in. And he's going to show you just what he can do to you. Uh, we better stay under the blood uh, of the Almighty God. Uh, we better be bad news uh, to the devil, Brother Philip. Uh, God don't want you and I uh, to run after the devil. Uh, he don't want you and I uh, to speak his word, uh, uh, to be obedient to him. Uh, don't the Bible says, uh, whom we are members to, that's his servant that we are. Amen. Amen. I've seen him cuss a little bit. I've seen him swear. I've seen him do everything that they are. And say, I'm a born again believer. And well, I'm going to tell you something. That ain't what my Bible says. And the Bible teaches you and I and to come out from among the world in it all. And be a separated people. How do we know where we stand with God? And when we get in those words and begin to read and begin to pop to our life, and then we know where we stand with God. But you don't need me to tell you that you're doing anything wrong. If your heart is right with God, you will know your own self. Amen. That's what's wrong today. Preacher, you don't tell me what to do. No, I'm not going to tell you what to do. But if you be rebellious against the Word and the Spirit of God, the devil will wait for you down the road. He's going to make sport of you. He's going to tell you that you are nobody. But I thank my God. I'm a somebody, ain't you? I have many somebody's. Do we have in this field tonight uh, that's going to be a troublemaker to the devil? Amen. Sanctum was a, a Nazarite. He was chosen from God from birth. He was a, a man of God from birth. God raised him up. God told his mother, said, don't drink no wine. <laughs> Nor eat any uh, unclean meat. And don't even put a razor upon his head. Yes. Now I wonder what we think about a, a, a child like that today. Jesus. I wonder what we would think about somebody like that. Why God ain't going to use them. Look at them. Look at them what they look like. Well, I've got news for you. And God is a God that's able to do what he said that he would do. And God knows what he's doing. I may not look like a lot of folk think I should look. But I know where I stand there with God, don't you? We've got to know where we stand there with God. Amen. The old Samson, he grew up and God began to use him. What was Samson? He was bad news to the Philistines. You think they did not know this man? And they knew who he was. And when the enemy come in and slayed his wife and his mother and dad, what did they do? They woke up a sleeping giant. That's what they done. He was bad news to the Philistine people. He was trouble to them. And the Bible said that he would go out and he would take a job on of an ass and he would slay a thousand men with it. What was it? He was trouble uh, uh, for them people. Uh, the church and I, uh, we are to be trouble to the devil. Uh, we are to let the devil tell us uh, that we don't have nothing uh, and that God can use us in. Uh, if God's giving you a song, a uh, sing a song for God. Uh, and let the devil know uh, that you're going to be obedient to God uh, and to the Word. Uh, and you're going to be led by the Spirit of God. Uh, and the Bible says, uh, and those that are led by the Spirit, uh, and they are are the sons of God. And I tell you, God's got a people and that's going to be trouble to the devil. Are you classified? Are we classified, Brother Phil? As a, just a blow over, blow by, whatever you want to call it. 
Well, we're classified as a troublemaker. We ought to be a troublemaker to the devil. We ought to have enough God in us that we'd be like old Jeremiah. Uh, Jeremiah will speak the word of God. Uh, he would say to me in your ways and you're doing it. Uh, and the Bible says that they wouldn't listen to the man of God. Uh, and they're not listening to uh, God, the men and women today. They're not a uh, paying a lick of mind to us. Uh, uh, they're doing their own thing. Uh, uh, they're doing their own thing. Uh, uh, what the flesh likes. Uh, uh, we're not going to tell you something. Uh, uh, the flesh uh, uh, will cause us uh, uh, to end up in hell. Uh, uh, your flesh is the enemy against God. Uh, uh, but all oh, uh, oh, Satan, he wasn't a word about uh, how many was against him. Uh, but he knew that God uh, was on his side. Uh, he knew that he was going to give him uh, a run for the money. Uh, he was trouble uh, to the devil. Uh, but we all pray, uh, Lord, uh, I'm not able to do this. Uh, I can't do it. Uh, no, I can't do it. Uh, but greater is he that's in me uh, than he that's in the world. Uh, when I think I can do it, uh, I'm going to fail. Uh, so when I get me out of the way, then let God be God. And then God will do what he said he would do in the Word. Amen. I believe that Samson was a mighty great man of God. He was an enemy against the Philistine. He was bad news. He was a trouble a maker. And when they would come and try to tie him up, he would break the ropes and go out and kill a few more hundred. And they would tie him up again. Then he would go out and do the same thing again. He had the devil back up in a corner, uh, but we're easy today in my life. Come on. Where's he at? Come on. Where's he at? And you know where he's at? Uh, the biggest majority of the time, you know where he's at? He's just sitting right there beside of the same. Uh, tell us what we can't do. Tell us that we can't do it. I ain't come. I'm just trying to be uh, as a movie star. I just come to be obedient to God and cheer. And if I was going to be a movie star, I wouldn't be here at Tan I wouldn't be in the hill of West Virginia. I'm going to thank my God. My desires is in heaven and cheer. I tell you, we may not be very well liked, but if God be for me, who can be against me? And the Bible says there ain't no weapon upon the kitchen shop. Prosper. How do you know? I can take the word of God and I can show you what God will do if we'll just stand for Him and be a troublemaker to the devil. And the devil's pushed us over long enough. We ought to come out a swing. We ought to come out a shout. We ought to come out praising God. But the devil can say more than a thing about us. And you know where we want to get on the back seat. All oh, they talked about me today. All oh, they said to me think about me. Well, I've got news for you. The Bible says that they talked about him yes. way before they get me and you. Come on. We ought to shout and praise God. He said told us to rejoice when they say all oh, men yes. of evil against us, did he not? Yes. But the devil just said, oh, poor little me. Poor little me. <laughs> I'm going to sit back tonight. I've got my feelings hurt. I'm going to my heart's broken. I'll tell you what we ought to do. We ought to say, devil, you come at me with a sword and a spirit, but I'm a coming at you. In the name of the Lord. Lord. Yes, Lord amen. Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But not because we are so, who we are, but because of He who lives in us. Yes. And the devil's out to destroy everyone else. Because of Jesus. Brother Bill, he didn't want you to be here tonight. He didn't want me to be here tonight. But I've got news for you. I'm going to be trouble to him at you. If I live tomorrow, I'm going to be trouble for him tomorrow. Yes. If I live next week, I'm going to be trouble for him next week. Yes. I have a bad news. I hate you to the devil. Are we going to stand our ground Bad with the devil? The devil. Let me know. We ain't going to be partakers of what he's trying to get us. The Bible said that we can't eat at the Lord's table and the devil's table too. And then we got to choose one. I tell you, we better choose the right one. If you don't, you will open up your eyes and burn in hell. And the devil's going to be laughing. 
He's going to say, I got you. I told you you couldn't sing. I told you you couldn't give a testimony. I tell you tonight that God raised you me up to be trouble for the devil, to be somebody that he can use. I don't know about you, but I'm not looking to have a great big fancy name. All the name I want is a trouble, don't you? I want to be a prophet child to the devil. We can turn on the news and we can see what he's doing. You don't know what he's doing, turn on the loose. You can see what he's doing. He's just going around this. Around our community. He's just going around rapping. He's just killing everything and everybody that he can. Yeah, he is. He's just taking a gun to kill him. No mercy either. He's just taking the drugs. He's just taking a suicide spirit. Uh, you know what causes a lot of that stuff? Uh, disobedience under God. I uh, think some work along the line. Uh, and God is there with them somewhere. Uh, they refuse and reject to God. Uh, church, listen. Uh, it's dangerous to rebel against God. Uh, it's dangerous not to be obedient to God. Uh, the devil's got us uh, uh, sitting on our seat. Uh, he ain't worried about the biggest majority of us. Uh, because he's afraid. Uh, he knows that we're afraid somebody He's going to laugh at us. I may not be able to speak my word plain, but I've got to be able to know one thing. I know who my God is. Amen. I know that my God is real. Yes. I know that He's alive. And I know that He lives in me. And I'm a child of the King. Yes. My name is written in heaven. And I'm going to be with Jesus someday. Amen. 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 Yeah. We ought to be bad news. We are to be. They are to call us in our community. They are to say, here comes old trouble. Here comes old trouble. I want to be bad news and trouble to the devil, don't you? I tell you, God saved me. And he gave me the spirit of him in me. He gave me his word. And Brother Bill, he raised me up. He anointed me to preach the word. And I've got news for it. A trouble to come in your way, devil. And yes. I get a chance to preach. I'm going to preach to my God. Yes. He's alive forevermore. Amen. On the third day, he come out of there. He come out there with the same power that he went in there with. The word that he lived the day, he lives in his people's heart. We're the powerhouse of God. Yes. We are to have the devil afraid to look through the windows. We are to have him afraid that they even peek to the house of God's door. Amen. 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 We are to be troubled. We ought to be church, and that will stand up for what's right. I want to stand for what's right, don't you? I'm not going to be somebody that's going to go along with sin and say it's all right. You can leave town and get your girlfriend in the next town. You better not do that because the Holy Ghost will tell on you. It'll get you right here. Thank God for the Holy Ghost. I tell you, we need the Holy Ghost filled saints of God to be on their feet of praising God. I can remember a time back a few years ago that the sinners was afraid to come in the house of God and they called that old gray head mama and that old gray head daddy he would stand up and say you better stop what you're doing Come on. the devil's got us sitting on our seat and we're afraid to tell them what you're doing wrong we're afraid to hurt their feelings I'm going to hurt your feelings I see you in this hour of prayer I cry out to God I'm going to keep my mouth shut and let you walk out the doors and go to hell but listen God is want somebody uh, to be trouble to the devil. Uh, we are to be bad news uh, to the devil. Uh, Brother Bill, Amen. we are to be so strong in God, including me. Talking about me too. That when the sinners come around us, uh, they can't sit still. Uh, they ought to be able to feel something new. Uh, mind your words that we speak. Uh, but they'll come around. Uh, and they begin to tell the dirty jokes. Uh, here we say to God. Uh, we'll say it loud. Uh, I tell you, I don't want to hear that garbage to you. Uh, I'm a, a child of the devil. Uh, my ears are not a garbage can for the devil. Uh, but what my ears want to hear uh, is what does set the spirit yes, of God. Amen. Uh, give me a word from God. Uh, it will help me to be a troublemaker to the devil. Uh, when Paul was on that road to Damascus, uh, Paul was a troublemaker.
Jericho, wasn't he? He was somebody that had and scared the dead. The devil had power over him on him. He was persecuting the church. He was a slave ever saint that called on the name of Jesus. They was afraid. But one day, when old Paul was walking down that road to the masters, and guess what happened? The Almighty God began to speak out to him. What did he do? The Bible said that he fell down to the ground. A tremor. Lord, what would you have me to do? And I tell you the devil thought that he had somebody that was troubled in it. I mean, God got done with Paul. He was a genuine yes. to the devil. Hallelujah. And that's what we are to be tonight. Yes. And God saved you and I. So we used to go around and cause trouble everywhere we went. For the devil, what's wrong with you? Uh, being a troublemaker for God. Amen. Bless you, Lord. All of the bad news that he wanted. He was, he had people scared to death. The devil had, had such a hold on him. But they said, Lord, we hear about me and what this man has done to the church. And he was finding everybody that he could that called on the name of Jesus. I tell you, God's able uh, to take care of us. Hey? And when old Paul was uh, going down uh, with the letters in his pocket uh, to find all they called on the name of Jesus. And they were the light shining out of heaven and uh, brighter than the noonday sun. Yes. The old Paul fell down to the ground. And God began to tell him uh, what he wanted to do. I thank my God that uh, one day uh, I was on the wrong road and I was on my way to hell. And they were the boys crying out of heaven and speak his word to my heart and called me to find me an old order and begin to cry out to God. What's wrong? And we need to get back to the old time way. And we need to get back when the saints of God just come to the doors shouting and praising God. And then we can't drag an amen out of them. We can't drag a song out of them. Oh, he can't drag the testimony out of them. Oh, why? Oh, the devil got them silent. He got, he got their mouth shut. It's time that we open up our mouth. Let's say, God, and let the words flow. He said, open your mouth and I feel. I know what I'm talking about. I was one of them coming to the house of God. And I would get on the back seat. And the devil would say, you don't know what you want to say. There ain't nothing you can say. But thank God, one day. I got tired of it. And I said, God, I want more than what I got. And God said, open your mouth and I will feel you. Yeah. And we just need to say, God, here am I. And use me for your glory. I promise you this much. When you stand up and open your mouth, that God will fill your yes. mouth with what he wants to say. We want to say what we want to say. Brother Bill, I said to yes. God. <coughs> I said to my friend what I was going to say. Bless him, Lord. I said to him, Lord, I'm going to get up and I'm going to testify. Help him, Father. I'm going to, I'm going to say it this way and I'm going to say it that way. Come on. And I got to hug him. My mind went blank. <laughs> See, that's what God wants to do. Yes. He wants us yes. to do yes. our right. Yes. Yes. And let him come yes. in. Take yes, over. amen. When we can do that, we're going to be trouble for the devil. But if we can just say what we want to say, uh, then the devil's going to be in control of you and I. Uh, why? Because he'll get in the flesh. Uh, he'll cause us to say things uh, that shouldn't even be said. Uh, he'll cause us to do things that we shouldn't even do. Uh, but I thank my God, don't you, uh, for the Holy Ghost uh, that come back on the day of pity. Uh, uh, the same spirit that come back that day uh, is the same spirit that's in you and me tonight. Uh, why should we be afraid? Uh, we ought to be like old Paul. That Paul would speak the word of God, and he would be he would cause trouble everywhere that he went, and they would just spirit of Paul and Paul around. And the one day, Paul turned and rebuked that spirit. And the Bible says and that when they one day seen that the all of their gang saying was gone from this little dancer, and what did they do? And they called them, they whipped them, and they put them in the in the prison, did they not? Read your Bible, it's in there. And Paul now. 
there was a troublemaker. Uh, everywhere they went, uh, the devil knew who they was. Yeah, the devil knew who you and I are tonight. Uh, and they're going to call you and I uh, to clam up and not say a word. Uh, well, I've got news for you. Uh, I may stutter. Uh, I may stutter along the way. Uh, but I thank my God uh, that my God uh, is on the inside of me. Uh, ain't you? I'm going to trouble for the devil. Uh, I want to be bad news to him. Uh, but the Bible says uh, that they strike Paul and Silas uh, and they put him in a prison, in a prison, in the inner courts. Yeah. What did they do? Bless him all. They didn't give him a sit back. They didn't give him a sit back. Oh, look what they done to me. Oh, look what they done to me. They didn't have no pity party. We had too many pity parties, I'm just going to tell you. Oh, we need to, oh, we need to shake ourselves. Oh, we need to say, devil, you may shut my back, but I'm coming back with trouble for you. I'm coming back with stronger than what I was. And the Bible said, a little Paul and Silas, what did they begin to do? They begin to sing praises unto God. They begin to shout and begin to praise God. I like to see them one year. I like to hear what they were doing. But whatever they were doing, brother, Brother, uh, listen, he worked. Uh, he yes. was bad news to the devil. Uh, and the devil told that he had him in a place uh, where uh, God would not heal him. Uh, where God would not use him again. Uh, but thank God. Uh, God had him out where he was. Uh, yes. They were willing to be obedient to God. Uh, but sometimes they make it in a mess. Uh, because they were willing that God uh, put us in a place where he wants us. Uh, we don't want to leave the nest. Uh, we want to sit relaxed comfortable and don't want God to bother us. But we want to go to heaven. <laughs> we don't want to be disturbed for the Philip. We don't want the light to bother us. We're hopping down in the seat. Pray somebody's going to call on us to say or testify. God don't want us that way. We ought to come out there and sing if we can't carry a tune in the bucket. We ain't a singer to win a popularity contest. We come ain't on. a singer to win a war. But we are singing because of the blood of Jesus. Yes. We are to be bad news to the devil. We are to be troublemaker for the devil. And the Bible says, and old Paul sounds to begin to pray and sing praises unto God. And the devil told that they was now out of the way. I've got them out of the way now. They're going to be quiet now. I believe the stripes on their back. They're laying in there in pain. And now we're going to be the, and now they're going to be quiet. But little did he know that they were just fixing to bring a call upon their car. And the devil didn't know that they were going to begin to sing, sing praises unto God. Even though the blood was running down their back, they still you had a soul of the same for their God. I believe, Brother Bill, that they begin to thank. The Lord, this is nothing what you went through. I'm glad to suffer for your name and cheer. I'll tell you, my God is real. And the Bible says about me at night, they begin to pray and sing praises to God. Sometimes we ought to hang around the midnight. The midnight to come on. We'll just keep on praying and singing to God. We don't want to. We don't Pray a little bit. And if God don't move, we're out of here. Come on. 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 Come we need to hang around a little bit longer. Come on. Amen. We need to hang around a midnight. Midnight to come. The old Paul and Silas begin to pray. And they begin to sing praises unto God. And the old jailer was asleep. He probably, uh, they said, sung him asleep, Brother Phil. But the one thing about it, uh, they knew who they were singing to. And they wasn't trying to have a, a contest who could sing the best. And that's what's wrong today. And the deal with God right in the midst of what God wants. And you just say now, and this will sing a little bit better than you. And you're going to have to try a little bit harder to outdo that. That's the 
wrong thing. We're going to put on the mind of Christ. We're going to sing. No matter if the dogs don't like it. We're still going to sing to God. We ain't sick of the please man. But we're sick of the please my God. I did come over here to preach you a word. To try to win a title from you. I come to give you a word from God. To tell you that you want to be a troublemaker to the devil. Yes. The devil's got us too quiet. But we're too quiet for, the, for God to oh, use us. I want to be used to God, don't you? God gave me a big mouth and a set of lungs, and I want the devil to know, as long as I can breathe, as long as I can holler, I'm going to holler Jesus at you. I'm going to let him know that my God is alive and forevermore, and I'm looking for him again. Praise God. They begin to say, the Bible said all the devil's here I believe they got a little happy too, don't you? They had to feel something, didn't they? I believe they had to feel something. Sometimes we can get where the move of God is. Brother Philip in the center can feel it too. I've seen it happen in you. I tell you, we are to be a bad news to the devil. We are to be a troublemaker no matter where we go. The devil ought to know every one of us. He ought to know what we are. I tell you, I'm glad to be different from the world, ain't you? I'm glad that my God is real. But they begin to pray and saying, God, I praise it under God. And what happened in me and that? And the Bible said that there was an earthquake water. It come down. And that was the power of the Almighty God. And the devil thought that he had God. And people shut up. But because somebody I said, Devil, you may have me in this prison. But my God, he's greater than the prison. My God. He's able to shake this place apart. I could just hear him saying, the Lord, I'm down here in trouble. I'll shake the angel. The Lord, shake the angel down. I'm going to shake this place apart. We've got to be bad news to the dealer. But thank God, when the dealer woke up, what would he do? He was going to take a sword and kill himself. But what did old Paul say? I don't do yourself no harm. We're all here. They was having a good time, wasn't they? They was having a Holy Ghost meeting in that old jail house. Ain't you seen God move? We want to run, turn it out too quick. We ought to hang around until God gets done. We wonder sometimes why that God ain't doing what we want Him to do. It's because we're watching our watch. At 9 o'clock, we got to get out of here. i got to be at the house at 9 o'clock. Clock. I've got a movie coming on. And God wants you and I to have a desire. And we're going to be trouble for the devil. And we ain't going to be no trouble to the devil. And when we're watching our clock, we're going to get out here by 8 30 or 9 o'clock. Amen. Amen. I ain't no 15 minute preacher. Right here. But Lord, when I get started, I tell you, God, when He gets me cranked up, I don't want to go right into the camp of the devil, don't you? I don't want to get right down and know where He's at. I tell Him I'm bad news, honey. I come, I come, devil, but the trouble here. I come to turn your little camp upside down. And they look at you and I, I'm like we ain't nobody. But I've got news for the devil. I'm a somebody in God. Amen. Amen. And one time I was a nobody. I was lost on my way to hell. And the way Jesus come into my life. And Brother Phil, he made a somebody out of me. Yes, he made a child of the king. And I'm glad that my God is real. I'm glad to know that my God has all power. Praise God. Praise God. A troublemaker. Oh, Elijah was a troublemaker, wasn't he? He called upon his God. And God answered my fire. I tell you, we need to put God to the test sometimes, don't we? We need to say, God, you told me in the Word if I would do this, you would do that. We are to let the devil know that we believe in our God. I tell you, God is to you real today. Yeah. What He done for Elijah? What He done for Abraham? What He done for Jacob? What He done for all the saints of old? He's still able today to do it. But we will not move when God tells us to move. We will let God come in. No good will 
that we need uh, something in our life. Uh, we need uh, a closer walk with God. Uh, we need God to do something for us. Uh, God to move in. And uh, what we will do, uh, we'll sit right there on our seat. Uh, we'll say, Lord, uh, if that's you, Lord, you come over here and get me. Uh, no, the Bible says, uh, draw nigh to God. Come uh, on. He will draw nigh to you. Uh, and when the water is troubled, uh, it's time to get in. Get in. Uh, I tell you, God wants you and I to be blessed. Uh, he wants us uh, to let him be God in our life. Uh, don't be afraid to speak the word of God. Uh, the devil shut our mouth. Uh, and we're afraid to speak anything that's in the word, Brother Phil. It's such a shame. It is such a shame. Because we're afraid to hurt somebody's feelings. Wow. True. Now they're saying, it's all right. You can't Come speak on. against it. The lesbians and the homosexuals. And my Bible tells me uh, that God uh, uh, that God does not like it. He hates God it. does not he like hates it. Uh, we are to stand up against this stuff. Uh, uh, we are afraid to say uh, that there are murder these little unborn babies. Uh, uh, we are afraid to uh, uh, just say something. We're afraid the government might come in and put us in jail. Uh, well, that's all right. Uh, and God, he put, uh, he'll get me out. I don't want him. I've done that where he got Paul and Silas out of the jail. Uh, I've done that where he got Peter out of the jail. Uh, the called sent his angel down. Uh, do you know the Bible says uh, that the angel of the Lord encamped around about them that fear him uh, and that his wife uh, uh, delivers to him. Uh, I tell you, God uh, has got angels placed around you and I. Uh, if we'll stand for that word and obey that word, uh, and God will bring us through. Uh, I don't care where they'll put you uh, or what they're trying to do. Uh, and God will deliver you and I. Uh, but we got to trust in God uh, and let God be God. Amen. They were trouble. Everywhere they went, they stirred up trouble. Why? The devil don't like the name of Jesus. He don't like that name because he knows that's where we're saved by. He knows that the blood of Jesus will cleanse us from all sin. And I thank my God when the devil sees me, what does he see? He sees the blood of Jesus applied to my life. I am telling you, I know my God, don't you? And the Bible said, them that do know their God shall be strong and do export. And the Bible says that when the enemy comes in like a flood, what will he do? He'll lift up the standard against him. We need to trust in the word of God. We need to say, devil, I'm a coming. I'm coming with to you. I'm a coming with you with the, with the word of God. That little David was classified as a little fella. Well, I know we hear the, a lot of people preach on uh, they were the little ruddy fella. Uh, but ruddy means uh, he was a good looking little boy. Uh, that's what it means. Uh, read your Bible. Uh, but the Bible says uh, that down there stood the town. Uh, he was nine foot tall uh, and nine inches. Uh, I mean that when David went down there uh, that he had to look up to him, don't you? Uh, but David knew that God was on his side. Uh, an old child. Uh, he said, give me a man. Uh, and give me a man that I may Fight. But here was little David that was counted as nobody. Saul said, David, you can't go down there against this man. Have you seen? Well, that's what they're telling. Have you seen what the devil's done? I don't care what he's done. I know that my God is able yes. to deliver. I've not seen. I've not seen the deliver a little lamb out of the bar's mouth. I've not seen him deliver a little lamb out of the lion's mouth. My God's able. My God is I was bad news to the to the man. I was trouble to the man. That's what we need to say. And there were I'm bad news. I'm trouble for you devil. But Saul said have you seen him David? This man is a man of war from his youth up. He knows everything about him. And you were just a little a little keeper of the sheep. And on the back side of the deck. Just a little bitty shepherd. Somebody that smelled like sheep. Somebody that probably was barefooted. Mm -hmm. But I tell you what, he was a man of God. Yes. Yeah. He was a great man of God. Yeah, and the word says and that when the giant come out there and said, Give me a man that I may find. Give me somebody. 
Word was saw on the army and they were standing on the banks and they were scared to death of the devil. Ain't that where the church is today? And that's where the biggest majority of the church is today. And they're standing on the banks scared of what the devil may do. Well, devil, if you kill me tonight, I'm going to be with my Jesus. But if you don't kill me, I'm going to be trouble to you tomorrow. Yes. My God is greater than anything. My God is a real God. Amen. And the Bible says, and that David said, as he crossed the brook, he reached down and got him by his knees down. He was a trouble was coming for the Philistine. And little did they know that this little shepherd boy was going to bring some bad news to the enemy's camp. He was Come coming on. to the devil. Yes. And the devil to look at you and me and say that we've got nothing. I tell you, I ain't going to let the devil see what I got on you. We can't let the enemy see and what God has given to us. And the brother Harry, and the Bible said that he got him by a stone and when he crossed the brook. He looked at that old giant and the old giant looked at him and he said, I'm going to tear you apart. Am I a dog? If you would come down here, make fun of him. Because here's the little shepherd boy. Didn't have on the big helmet. Didn't have on all the brass plates. Didn't have on none of that stuff. This man was a he was a war hero, wasn't he? He was a war hero. He had all all the things on. But thank God somebody knew that God was on our side. Yes, amen. I know that God is on my side and you. I may not look like what the enemy think I am, but little did he know that trouble was on his way. The bad news was coming that day to the Philistine. The devil didn't know what kind of trouble was in this little town. Ain't you always hear a dynamite come this small package? I tell you we are to be bad news to the devil. We are to give him a, a run for his money. And David said, if you come to me with a sword and a spear, and then guess what, devil? I come, I come to, to you, you in, in the name, name of, of the Lord. Lord. And when David began to wail well, that old stone line, and there stood an old giant, ready to take him apart, ready to tear his arms apart, ready to take his legs off, and feed him to the, feed him to the fowl of the eye, and the beast of the field. But the day was done. He done knew that God was on his side. Because last week, he done slain a 400 pound lion, and maybe a 500 pound bear. And this old child was just going to be as one of them. He said, you come to me with this war and the staff that I'm coming to you in the, in the name, name of the Lord. 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 The one of God that we serve. The devil was trouble for the Philistine. And when he let that stone go, and guess what? It hit the old giant right in the forehead, right between the eyes. And he hit the ground. Tell me God not able to let us Lord, and use us if we'll let him do it. It's hard to tell what we see God doing. Amen. See, the devil's always trying to discourage us. Uh huh. Before we get there, yeah. He's always saying, You can't preach. No, I can't Amen. preach, but the Holy Ghost in me can. Amen. That's what, that's what we need to tell him. Right. Then, well, I know I can't preach, but I know the one that's in me can preach. Amen. He's the one that, that wants us to open our mouth and let him feel it. We can't plan out what we're going to say. There's no way I can plan out to you what I'm going to say. But all I can tell you tonight that God wants us to be a troublemaker to the devil. Yes. Let the world hear you. Praising God. Let the world hear you. Singing your song to God. Sometimes, Brother Gary, I can be out and I can hear him coming just a thumping away. Just a oh, yeah. box a jar and a winger's have a call. Uh -huh. I tell you, you can hear them coming a half a mile down the road. I hear we are sitting listening to a little Holy Ghost field preacher man uh -huh. uh, preaching on the Holy Ghost uh, and everything else. Uh, I tell them about the ways of God. Uh, and the devil said, you better turn that down. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. turn it up. Uh, well, that's what they need to hear. Uh -huh. uh, they need to hear that Jesus Christ uh, is the son of the living God. Uh -huh. uh, they need to hear uh, that Jesus Christ is coming back uh, for them that's called by his name. Hey. Uh -huh. I tell you, my God is real. Uh -huh. I'm not ashamed of my God. Uh -huh. I want the devil to know uh, that I'm a Jesus man that you. Uh -huh. I'm going to lift up his word. Yes. I'm going to preach his name. Uh -huh. No matter where I go, uh -huh. I'm going to tell the world, uh, you better be born again. Uh -huh. 
of the water of the spirit. Yes. Oh, you're in the lines in your ear. Oh, the devil said you better shut up. Oh, you better not say that stuff. Oh, the world yeah. panics. Oh, that we are to be silent. Oh, they don't want you and I to speak nothing against a oh, sin with a God. Oh, they don't want you and I to speak against oh, what's going on today. And in our community. Tell it anyway. Oh, way, oh, that the drug is going to come through and burn our house down. Oh, will it be burned down? Oh, maybe God's got a bigger one he's going to give us. Oh, I'm on. Oh, oh, we're going to speak the word of God. Uh, we're going to let the world see that uh, we are trouble for the devil. Uh, I'm trouble for him and you. Uh, my God is real. Uh, Amen. I'm going to please him if I can. Uh, I ain't seeking to please man. Uh, we can't please everybody. Uh, Brother Philip, uh, if we try to please everybody in this building today, uh, we may please five of them. I don't know. Uh, but the other 15 or 20, we could. Uh, so why try? Uh, we can't please man. Uh, we got to please God. Amen. Uh, you know what the Bible says. Uh, Peter said it's better to better obey, to obey God, God, God than man. man. Uh, if they would have obeyed the man, they wouldn't have be been no threat to the devil. They would have threat to the devil. Amen. Uh, they spoke the word of God. They didn't care if it caused him to be put in jail. They didn't care if it caused him to be whooped or beat. Do you know what they said? Do you know what they said? This is the very word that they said. We are glad that we was counted worthy to suffer for his name. I tell you, if we'll stand for that mighty great name of Jesus, are we going to be classified? Are we going to be marked as a troublemaker? Well, devil, you can just hang a sign on my back. Here comes old trouble. Because that's what I'm going to be in I'm going to be trouble to the devil. I'm going to tell the world who's a coming back. Who we better be a standing for. Who we better be a praising. Who we better be a loving. The my God is real. He's done too much for me, Brother Peter, for me to sit down and shut up. I'm not going to shut up for you. But Jeremiah said, it was like a fire shut up in my ball. He couldn't stay shut. Why? Because God had called him and ordained him before he was even born. He was ordained a proper Oh, are you a troublemaker? How many troublemakers we got in here tonight? I'm going to be, I'm going to say, devil, did you see these hands right here? These hands is trouble for you. I'm going to pray my God at you. I'm not afraid of the devil. The devil may take my life, but I've got news for you. I'm going to be with my God, won't you? I'm going to be with my God. The one that died on the cross at Calvary for my sin. I praise him every day. I thank my God uh, that I'm able to say, Dear, well, I'm bad news for you. I'm bad news for you.